Yeah, I figured as much. Nothing happened if I did that. <laughs> Try not to It went that way. <laughs> it didn't disappear, it just went that way. Oh, no. 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 Okay, this works. I'm gonna use two. I'm gonna be bold. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> you gotta get the second balloon. Alright, I got two balloons. Okay, that didn't. Well, that's just funny. What happened? It just rolled away. Because <laughs> <laughs> you gotta understand, I don't see any of these balloons you're pushing. I yeah, know, don't worry about it. You don't need to see it. You just need to wait for me. Okay, that time it disappeared. <laughs> I want to be up there. Is there fall damage? <laughs> no, there's no jumping. <laughs> Why would they have <laughs> fall damage? <laughs> Wait, what happens if you die here? Actually, yeah, we don't even have HP. What the hell am I thinking? <laughs> Uh, there's a fall in the plan. Pun intended. Alright, I'm gonna try and do it again. Oh, I just teleported down. <laughs> there was no fall, just teleportation. <laughs> yeah. oh, I lifted. Not high enough. Ah, fuck. Up goes the weasel. Oh, almost. Ah, fuck. It disappeared. Stop moving, you bastard! Oh, so close! And it disappeared again. Wait, I gotta see something. Cool. Try sprinting. Sprinting? Oh, hey, now. Damn, that did nothing. Seems like the more I do it, the less oh. likely. Oh, God hey. damn it. <laughs> I saw you hop. <laughs> I wish we were recording that from my perspective, and I'd be like proof of jumping and phasmophobia. Some shit like that. What the fuck? Why are you going that way? What the hell am I looking at? Get this up for <laughs> sure! God damn it. My parents just sent me a picture of this truck. And it has a... The toy version of Buzz and Woody hanging on the back for dear life. Ah. That's... That's amazing. God damn it, we're in the way. I told Sarah that I'm gonna be having eating peas. Ah tonight. damn it, I almost did it. Yeah. And she she hates those. So she she said gross and sent that sick green sick emoji. Oh I said it was yum. <laughs> Do you even like peas? Yeah. I like greens. Yeah. And carrots. Green carrots. Green carrots. Oh, where'd that go? I mean, if I could, I'd even have uh, green eggs anyway. Actually, no, that sounds gross. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds gross. Yeah, that sounds like rotten eggs. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Fucking hell. I guess it's a one trick pony, bro. The yeah, one that's what I'm thinking. At this, at this point, I'm just getting rid of balloons. Wait, what Pretty about? Pretty much, same here. Where'd you I'm go? I'm almost completely out of balloons. I only have three balloons. I've got, like. I got five. 
I keep getting distracted. God damn it, there goes another balloon. Another balloon bites the dust. Oh! What? Where'd these balloons come from? I can't even get oh, it in the corner shit. anymore. I feel like you're so, you need to get it specifically. I can assert it way for some reason. Ah, you've just moved my balloon, you fuckhead. Wait, really? Yeah. From my perspective, you just walk through my balloons. Yeah, some of them. Come on, come on. Give me up. Give me up. <laughs> As the Aussies say, pull me off. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think that's how they... S <laughs> you ever see that? One scene in Thor, uh, what was it? Ragnarok. He talks about his hammer. It's like it would pull me off, and, and, and Gorg, or whatever his name is, it's like, oh my god, it'll pull you off? Because <laughs> apparently, apparently that's like a innuendo for getting a handy. Oh, I had a feeling of that. <laughs> I can do it! Uh. I feel like we're doing this wrong. You're again moving my balloon. Yeah, but that time it was intentional. Ah, fucking damn it! Come on, for the vine! Nope. God damn it, seriously? There we go. You missed it? Oh, you made it? Yeah. Yeah, because my set turned off on its own. That's weird. How'd you get up there? <laughs> uh, second verse, same as the first. Yeah, well, I'm not going to attempt it anymore. I'm just going to worship Man on Blue. Man be on Blue is gone! Hold up. I'm going to figure this out. Alright, you do that. Oh, come on, what the fuck? With the French toast. Well, I guess I got something to share now that I think about it. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I've been spending the last few weeks on a project in Minecraft. Oh, really? Yeah. How's that going? Well, I've been done with it a few times, but then I think, oh, I could add this to it. And the part that takes the longest is when I have to do landscaping or terraforming, whatever it's called. That could be either. Out the land. Yeah. That's. Uh, that, I mean, the main spot I built. It took me four days to just get everything level. And then I had to deconstruct some buildings so I could relocate them and make them better. Wow. <laughs> I relocate like, I mean, whole ass buildings, huh? Yeah, but I mean, I gotta tear it down and then just rebuild it somewhere else. Because I, I was like, this would be better over here. In my current build, actually no, I think I finished it last night. I did a very okay. loose recreation of the cabin from Evil Dead. Oh, that was my last balloon. Oh, there's a balloon over here. Oh, you did? Yeah. 
What you gonna do with it though? Ah, come on. Nope, it's stuck here now. Well, I turned the basement area uh -huh. into a maze, mostly because I don't know what the layout of that looks like exactly. And there's gonna be a trip wire I had set up that when you cross through it, it's gonna unleash zombies. Zombies? Yeah. Because I figured you know that's the closest thing to a, a dead eye you can get in Minecraft. Oh, oh, I see, yeah. Come on. Fuck off. Wait, so that's. That's, uh. That's all you're gonna do with that? For now, yeah. But I did get set back. Because hmm. as I was building, I had a fireplace built with actual fire in it, and it burned down like one third of the cabin. No shit. Yeah. Damn, that's insane. I'm very glad I caught caught it before it got even worse, because I had to get a bucket of water and just start, you know, placing water everywhere. I even built a, a forest around it, like a very thick forest, uh -huh. just to make it feel more isolated. But if you don't go into the basement, then it could be a very good player home. If you don't go into the basement. <laughs> That's funny. Because I made it maze-like, so you go down there, you can get lost. It's also pretty dark. But not so dark that, uh... Like, enemy NPCs will spawn down there. Except for what I place. But yeah, I finished that. And now my last project is to build a graveyard. Wait, so why are you doing all that? Just because you can? Because I can. I like building. I even have some mods so I can do more unique things. That's why I'm building a graveyard, because I noticed one of the mods has tombstones. Well, that's neat. Yeah. On what, PlayStation? Uh, PC. Oh. Oh, right, with mods. I didn't I forget. PlayStation don't do mods. As far as yeah, I know. not easily. I mean, there's a program you can download where you can hack it. And for like, say, Persona 5. Uh-huh. You have to get in a certain point of the story before you, like, oh. more party members join. But with this hacking program or whatever, you can have all of them unlocked throughout the whole story. Oh. How would that go? How would that go? Not very well. Because when that character officially gets unlocked in the game, uh huh, it completely takes away the the modded version. So if you have anything equipped on them, you're gonna lose it. And I had a really good item equipped on someone. And I lost it. What can you just reload? No. No, what do you mean no? I mean, I could reload if I had multiple uh, saves, but I don't. Oh, I see. <laughs> Why don't you have multiple saves? That seems like gaming 101. Um, well, that started off when my cousin and I were playing Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. And we, every time we saved, we did a new save. And then we ran out of save space. And they're like, okay, we're just going to have to overwrite something. And then I was like, why don't we just use one save and keep overriding it? And my cousin's like, yeah, let's do that. Save space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's been my mentality ever since. Well, well at least that prevents you from saves coming. Huh. 
which I do a lot in certain games. Specifically ones where I don't know the consequences of my actions. Those are my favorite games. It's like I need to know what the fuck I'm agreeing to or disagreeing to. <laughs> yeah, I understand that, but I'm the kind of person that's like, I've made this choice, I'm gonna live with the consequences. No, yeah, same. But like, I need to know what decision I've made, you know? Like, it's so vague, you know? You never know what the fuck you're gonna get, because it doesn't actually follow, like, real-life logic. It follows whatever logic uh, the devs are coming up with. So you just never know. Yeah. Speaking of which, did you know uh, Man of Medan got a really big update? Man of Medan? What the hell is that? You know, it's made by the same people that made Until Dawn. Is it that one game with uh, those actors? Sure. <laughs> uh, do you know any of the actors' names? Yeah, but he has a twin, and I'm not sure which of the twins is in it. Oh, yeah, I just noticed that he, they were twins. <laughs> I didn't know they were yeah. twins. I didn't know there was two of them. <laughs> I know, right? They look so identical. I guess that's why they're called identical twins. Mm -hmm. But I seriously only thought there was one of them. I did too. Until I noticed the names weren't matching up at some point. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I looked into it, and it's like, oh god, there's two of them. But yeah, I think the one that's in this game is the guy that played Iceman in X-Men. Yeah, that shit blew my mind. I still haven't gotten over it since I found out. Yeah, every time I see at least one of them in anything, oh. I'm always like, which one is it? Because I can't remember which name goes with who. <laughs> oh my god. That's right. It's like you're seeing the same person, but, it's, but you don't know who it is. <laughs> Yeah. You don't know which version. <laughs> yeah, so even if they tell you the name, I'm like, okay, but which one is that? <laughs> what movie was he in? That's how I identify these two now. Bro, I don't even know if they have the same personality, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like they're not even twins, but like one's it's a like clone they're... of the other. It's just, I, yeah. That's why it blew my mind. Because it's just, they don't seem like there's two of them. <laughs> no. Like, there is no hint whatsoever in the way they act or anything. That there is two of them. Nope. It's <laughs> different. I even think their voices are exactly the same. Maybe. Like, wasn't one sure. of them in, like, Lock and Key? Yeah. Netflix? Yeah, I think that's Iceman, too. And the other one was, or... Maybe. Him, or him himself was in uh, The Boys as Torchlighter or whatever it was. Yeah. I, I didn't pay that, that much Iceman. attention with that one. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking up Iceman right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should. I'm still not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Man of Medan. I should, I should have looked that up. Because I don't know if it's the one that's like... People are making fun of it. For the writing. Or oh, that could be any of them, really. Okay. I know I've made fun of it for some of the writing. I mean, like, all four of these games. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the quarry. Yeah, that, that one especially. <laughs> that one especially. That that game wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. Mm. Like, I still enjoyed playing it. I should do this more often. <laughs> but, like, have it as a, what's it called, a podcast. Just talking huh. random shit. You know what's funny? Huh. When you first came up with this idea to talk about the Phasmophobia video, yeah. I was talking to Sarah on the phone, and I was like, I think my friend wants to start a podcast. 
What do you mean you think? We've been talking about it for like ages. I know. <laughs> what do you? And I'm pretty sure that's not exclusively my idea. I I've been like interested both, in doing it, but yeah. But we just never figure out how. Or do you have plans? Do you have ideas? Well, I was thinking it had to be during a moment where, uh, you know, where like your mentality is in the right place to do it. Mm. So it can be tricky. It's like now that we're talking about a podcast, I'm kind of like, I don't know what to talk about now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's what I mean. It's like we were we were doing five, just like about Ice Man, his twin. Man and Dan, the shitty writing, and then all of a sudden we're like, mm -hmm. now that we realize what we're doing, <laughs> don't know what to do. Yeah, well, I looked up Sean Ashmore's entire career. Oh, wow. Uh, he was in The Boys. Iceman was in The Boys. Mm -hmm. uh, Man and Dan. It's the other show that I have mentioned, but I don't know if you even remember. I don't know. What's it called? The Following. The Following. Yeah. Mm, it's not. And it's you've not seen. The, uh, you've seen what? You've seen a couple episodes because I was watching it at your house one day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What, on Netflix? Yeah, I think it was on Netflix. Yeah. Almost has to be. Is it the one with Don't know the, if it's still there, though. Is it the one with the plague? I don't think it's that one, but that's like the only one that comes to mind. Nope, no plague. If it helps, it has Kevin Bacon in it. No, oh, that doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, while you're thinking of that, I'm going to list other things. The following. That Iceman has been... The hey, following it's a little surprise. <laughs> Do you remember the game Quantum Break that came out a few years ago? Oh, this does look familiar. Uh, quant yeah, quant I was about to ask you about that before you told me about the following. Yeah, Iceman. Yeah. That's Iceman. That's Iceman? Yeah. And of well, course you already know he's an X-Men. Now that I look at this, it does look familiar. I don't remember any of it. What's this about? Uh, cult. Uh, cult. Murder cult. Yeah, I'm not recognizing any of these other huh. movie shows. What about the twin? Uh, I'm gonna get to that one. Don't want you worry. Wait, so which one was the one in Lock and Key? Iceman? Yeah, I guess it's... No. That has to be the clone. <laughs> so it's either Iceman or a clone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aaron is the clone's name. And they're identical. Yeah, he was the one right? in Lock and Key. Yes, no, okay. like extremely. No, like, I could show you two pictures of them, yeah, and you'd think it's the same person. Yeah, there's no difference. You think that one of them standing next to a wax? <laughs> Um. God damn! I was gonna say something. I can't remember. God damn! Yeah, I had that funny long earlier today. Yeah. I was gonna say something about. I guess their careers. Was I? Oh no, I was gonna go into like why I asked like identical twins. It's because like some people like they look similar, but like they're not like they weren't born at the same time. I don't know. That's yeah, if you actually yeah, pay close attention to their like faces, like a side by side comparison, there are some uh -huh. tiny differences. But if they weren't side by side, it's Almost impossible in all who's who. <laughs> you need a reference. Yeah. 
So the clone? I have no idea what these things are. Although I did notice that him and Mice Man and the clone are in the same show. What? I don't know if they're playing the same person. <laughs> Sack and Cody style? <laughs> I don't know. Right, let, me, let me go back to the other one and look at it. Gotta scroll all the way down. Oh, I just can't believe how long it took me to realize there was two of them. No, oh, dude, same. <laughs> oh, I guess it's the nose. The nose is different. Dude, they're in the same show, but they're not the same character. Nor are they even in the same year. No, <laughs> what? <laughs> or, I mean, same season, I mean. That's... that's... I bet that's confusing for like diehard fans of this show and they're like, they got the same actors, they're the same role. I'm like, nah, it's his clone. But yeah, so anyways, Man and Medan got updated. Yeah, why? I thought they were like, uh, just move on to the next, whatever they're doing. Well, that game comes out next month. Anyway. But each time they release a new game in this, in the anthology series, they do like some little upgrades to the game. So they updated the first two of the anthology games, so they could be more uh, the same with the more updated ones. But Man of Medan. Mm -hmm. Got an extension in its final chapter. So there's new oh, content. I see. Yeah. Is that the one where they're in the boat? Yeah, ghost ship, but it's not really ghost. It's just, you know, green fog that makes them hallucinate. <laughs> That's pretty shitty, I gotta say. Oh, People you should have seen what they've done with the second one. It's worse. It's like, it's like people were coming into this for like the scares, right? And then they, just, they go and it's like, nope. It wasn't. There was nothing to be afraid of yes. except for... Fear itself. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but did you see or hear about the second game, Little Hope? No. It's worse. Which one's the one with like... What is it, a cult? Is it a cult? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, and this is like some hillbillies? I mean, there's that, but that's the quarry. Oh, uh, then never mind. The quarry and Until Dawn are not part of the anthology series. They're their own independent projects. Wait, so what the fuck does it mean by anthology series? Aren't they like... Oh, okay, individual projects. Okay, guys. Yeah, but the anthology's like the same project, like the intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, like Black Mirror. Yeah, they actually they actually do read some of the same actors for each game. Not all of them, but some of them. <laughs> oh yeah, but. The second game, very it's very similar to the first, but they take it like ten steps ahead. In the Wait, which one was where, the first? Uh, Man of Medan. Oh, okay. Second's Little Hope. Third is House of Ashes, and the fourth one coming out is I think it's called The Devil and Me. That sounds like that one's space. That sounds what? like a title I've heard many times. Probably have. It's been advertised a lot. Well, I mean, like, I feel like the title, like, The Devil and Me, like, that kind of, like, idea. It's been used a lot, like, in movies, songs, books. Mm -hmm. And now games. Do you remember that one college class we took? Where they're talking about, uh, America's first serial killer? 
was it world history? Like, oh, what's it? U.S. history? Uh, what the fuck am I talking I about? Know. I think it's okay. <laughs> how, how many how many classes did we take together? Two. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Then yeah, it's U.S. history because the other one was like the science class. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Okay, but the. Yeah, is America's first, or considered to be America's first serial killer. He had a hotel built, and just so he can kill people, but he had like these hidden compartments, rooms, tunnels, where he could hide the bodies. Oh no yeah, we watched like a film about it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the fourth game in the anthology series is based off of that, or I guess inspired by that. Mm. But they're also oh. adding in elements from Saw. So you're trapped in this hotel, and there's like a lot of different traps, oh, and you have to make choices that could potentially save one person but kill another. Ah, ah no, you're screwed. You're screwed in that situation. Like, it, like yeah, but I'm thinking I'm sure that the traps are like just made for you to lose. Yeah, I think so. But I think in that instance, in the game, you're choosing the fate of NPCs, not your own characters. Like, maybe saving one person will have a a negative effect in the future, but saving the other will have a positive effect. Uh, that's kind of fun. They're also adding a inventory system for this game. And that makes me think, what if one of your characters picks up an item, and it's in their inventory, that another die. one of your character needs? Like, you end up screwing over your other character. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, damn. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, back to the... <laughs> I've been trying to explain. <laughs> right, the second game, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that game... It, it, like, no matter what, if you like fail or, or win, it's pretty much the same. And it's... The big revelation is that everything that happened... Uh -huh. Didn't really happen. It was all inside this one guy's delusional mind. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is worse. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I remember seeing that and I was... Like, the one thing I said after Man and Medan came out... Yeah, exactly. It's like the... And leading up to this one, I was like, don't do that again. It's like and the one like, thing okay. you could have done to make it worse. Yeah. Luckily, they like learned that, their lesson, because this... That was the only, like, silver lining with Man of Medan, is that it wasn't all in... Or, I mean, it was all in their heads, it was like... It wasn't, like, completely, like, all in their head. I don't yes. know. Well, like, the monster aspect of it was in their head. But all the right. second game, literally everything, like... Every other character, except for this one guy, was not really there. So if they died, it don't really matter because they don't exist. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, but I for guess... the third game. Oh wait, hold on, it's mosquito. <laughs> for the third game, for the third time. <laughs> yeah. For the third game, let's go and add a fourth one. <laughs> hold on, I wanted, to, I wanted to say that maybe the horror that they were trying to do with the first game was uh, blurring, like the I mean, the horror of like. Being able to tell what's like real or not, and then carrying out as if things were real or not, you know? Like there's like that primal fear, I guess, of like, do I really exist? You know, every time I go to a restroom, I'm like, am okay. I actually in the restroom? <laughs> <laughs> or is it possible that I'm standing out in public about to do my business? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's some <laughs> that's some next level delusions, man. No, it's kind of like uh, uh, some people like have a fear of like somehow being in class naked or some shit. Yeah, it's like kind of like that. No, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's just the idea of that sounds hilarious. <laughs> like. Are you really sitting on the toilet or some random guy's lap? <laughs> yes, I didn't want to say that, but that's exactly <laughs> it. 
<laughs> that's exactly the fear. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That I'm just doing my business on someone's lap. <laughs> That should be the next game in the anthology series. <laughs> I mean, at the rate they were going. <laughs> that <is> well. <laughs> well, actually, as I've been trying to say, uh, for the, fifth for time. the third game, <laughs> 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 they actually uh, they learned their lesson in uh, yeah, everything that's happening is, is real. <laughs> yeah, they're like, it's like, like huh, it. people want real terror and monsters and shit. However, there is a very shocking twist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good twist or a so, bad twist? I wouldn't say you're the good or bad, it's more like... ...interesting in a way you'll never be able to predict. Mm. Oh. But anyways, it's really <laughs> obvious I, I from the that. beginning. <laughs> that sounds painful. That <laughs> <laughs> felt uncomfortable, but yeah. No, okay, yeah, that, that, <laughs> that sounded like... Like, uh... Do I try to swallow or pee through your nose? <laughs> okay, yeah. <sure. laughs> I, I couldn't think of that. anything else, bro. <laughs> Maybe like a really big apple. <laughs> I don't know, it felt like uh, it sounded like something going through somewhere it didn't fit. <laughs> uh, it's. Oh no, I wasn't really paying attention to it. <laughs> No, but you completely stopped for it. <laughs> I like, know. In the middle of a, in the middle of a sentence, you just stop, and then there's like this fucking noise. <laughs> you know, physically, I, I, I did, but mentally, I was still thinking about my sentence. <laughs> All right, what's well, my mouth you? stopped, but my mind kept going. <laughs> Right, so as you were saying. Yeah, so for the third game. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to do that again. <laughs> Make it an even six. Oh, uh, anyways, God. it was pretty obvious. Like, barely early on, what the. You know the big monster was going to be, mm -hmm. and it turned out to be true. And it's like these are vampires. Oh no! But then when you get to the end of the game, and they have this huge twist that I did not see coming, uh -huh. I find it weird but yet fascinating. What? So the game takes place in this like underground cavern that's been lost to history or whatever. And the characters end up going further and further down in this cavern. And when they get to the bottom, what they found was not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? Uh, I don't know, like a vampire nest? And technically I'm not wrong, but... Again, they're not vampires at all. Oh. What the characters found down there in the deep dark is multiple UFOs. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, I mean, that is... But it's not the aliens that you're going up against. What? That's where it gets weird. Why? That's where it gets weird? It's like it's already pretty weird as it is. It gets weirder. <laughs> what you're going up against... I mean, technically it is the aliens, but... Okay. I guess also technically what you're going up against is an alien parasite that is taking over their brain. Oh my god. That seems a little bit too extra. That's too much. <laughs> yeah. And that's what you have to deal with. <laughs> There's also another mini twist. So when you find their uh, <laughs> yeah, the alien like UFO enough. nest, uh, the characters blow it all up, try to kill all the parasites all at once. Uh -huh. And then they manage to escape the cavern and get to, uh, uh, I want to say land, but I mean, even if you're underground, it's still land. 
like top side. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And they're like, "Yay, we did it!" And then a shadow comes over the group, and they look up, and there's a, a solar eclipse. Oh. So with no sunlight, the vampires all come out of the cave and are on the surface now. Oh shit! It's like, like we did it. No, you didn't. It's like this is where it gets real hard. <laughs> This is where the real yes. game begins. Quite literally, because holy crap, that was intense and stressed me the shit out. Because the main characters go and hide in this like very tiny rundown house, and all these parasite vampires are all trying to break in. So wait, and all you gotta do is hold them off. They yeah. actually suck blood. No, they look like giant bats. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, they look exactly like what you would imagine a monstrous vampire would look like. No, I just thought they were vampires. No, like, they're they, literally monstros monstrosities. At no point. But that's only because they're him. aliens. <laughs> <laughs> the parasite in their brain. No, at no point did you make it. Did you even give a hint that they were like huge as monsters? Well, I figured since this was made by a specific company that the monster aspect was implied. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. I don't know any about their other games. I only know about the one. Wendigo, werewolves, uh, fake ghosts, and non-existent demons. That's what they got. Although I think the next one coming out is probably going to be more realistic. Wait, so what Although was I'm the expecting there be a twist. The quarry. Parties about werewolves? Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that becomes extremely obvious from the very beginning of the game. I thought it was like the hillbilly, hillbilly aspect. Yeah, that's what they wanted you to think. It was they wanted like you to think that they're like redneck hunters who hunt humans, but in actuality, they're trying to protect the humans and they're hunting these werewolves. <laughs> what? Uh, that's but they're still not good guys. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> when will hillbillies ever be given their justice? <laughs> nah, Never. They're just, they're just stuck to incest, wrong turn, uh, hills of eyes, the barbarian status. Speaking of which, I know one of those things. No. Ah, wait, so which one's the one that you know? The hills of eyes. Yeah, that should freak me out when the first time I saw it. I was very disappointed when I saw it. Oh, really? How old were you? Uh, teenager. Yeah, I was about the same. Yeah, my cousin watched it and he was like, You gotta check this out, it's like the creepiest, grossest thing in the world or whatever. And I was like, sure, why not? And we watched it. And it ended and I was like, that's it? That's it? Really? <laughs> Bro, the first, the first like five minutes of it had me like, Myself. I wasn't impressed with it. But I, then again, I grew up with horror movies from a very young age. I mean, I did. Kind so I think of I just have a. I think I have a higher tolerance for that stuff. To the yeah. point where I don't enjoy it anymore. Except for games, because, well, those are fun. And actually <laughs> scary, because it's. In a way, it's you. <laughs> yeah, you're like the one interacting with shit. Yeah, and then the chase sequences were not fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> and in the end, yeah. it's all fun. Uh, uh. Well, you were saying something about running into a castle, or a, not castle, a house, rundown house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the main characters, or at least the ones that are alive at this point, run into the house for shelter. And then all the. A, uh, alien vampire parasite beings are trying to like rip it apart to get in so it becomes like a, a fight for not to win but to survive long enough for the eclipse to be over uh, but boy does it feel like it takes forever because <laughs> it's like non-stop QTEs all throughout damn that sounds stressful <laughs> it was <laughs> I've only played that game once because of that like I don't even know what the other endings are like I mean, it sounds stressful, but it also kind of sounds kind of fun. Well, here's an idea. Oh. Those games are on Steam. 
So if we get them on sale, we could try to make uh, videos on them. Because you can play it at the same time online with another player. What? How does that work? Controlling two separate characters. Oh, no shit. <laughs> That's actually pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, and all the games in the anthology are like that. Oh, that's actually pretty neat. But, I mean, you know yeah, what's so, going to happen. Yeah, and the cool thing is, a choice yeah. that you make can affect the uh, other player. So you know I'm going to try to make choices that screw you over. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> At least be, like, <laughs> half, half screwing me over and half helping me. Because you never know what uh, choices I'm sure. going to make. Yeah, I know, that's what's exciting about it. It provides a challenge. I try to screw you over, but that all depends on you. That all depends on you. <laughs> yeah, Damn, I was thinking no we can try doing that whenever I get yeah. my recording stuff working, because then we can, I can record my perspective and you can record your perspective and try to make a video using both in some way. Oh, we're not just going to upload them at the same time? Nope. Gonna I mean, we can, but. Gonna have to edit that. Yeah. I just yeah, thought yeah. that was like a cool idea for an editing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is. But that edit that don't really matter so much. I mean, it sounds like a pain in the ass. I mean, it could also be cool, yeah. like, like uh, yeah. from the viewer's perspective, like not knowing what the fuck the other person's doing. And then going yeah. to watch the other video to see what the fuck the other person did. Yeah, no, actually, there are two YouTubers I watched that did that. I mean, we uh, could do H2O both. H2O, Delirious, or, and Cartoon. Since there's so, like, there's gonna be four games, so we could do both. We can do actually. There's gonna be eight. Oh fuck! Well, I mean, right now there's like three or four, right? Because I mean, yeah. it's gonna come out, and by the time we actually get around to do that, there's gonna probably be six out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they might try to take a break after the, this upcoming one. And then they'll get into making the other four. And there might even be more after that. They've only confirmed that there's going to be four for now. And I say for now in a sense where at this current point in time, there's only going to be uh, eight. But I think they want to leave the door open to make more if they feel like it. Yeah, so we would have plenty of material to like for video ideas. Yeah, but we I'm hoping to be able to uh -huh. to get to this point where we both can record before the, oh, yeah. the next set comes out. Yeah, that's the key point right there is that you need, you need to figure that yeah. out. <clears throat> yeah, I would wait to play the new one like that, but I've already pre-ordered it on PlayStation. Mm. Okay, and so the next Pre-ordering these games are actually very important if you want to play it by yourself, because you get an extra game mode or something for a uh, single player but only if you pre-order actually wow. no you can buy it separately like a month later or something hmm. well i mean we could do that for the next game <clears throat> i mean the one after the one that's going to come out that way yeah. we can go we can both go into it blind yeah, yeah. shit <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's what I signed up for. <laughs> uh, one of the things I got added with the updates, uh -huh. like a few days ago, is a difficulty selection. So oh, shit. you and I can still play those games, but play it on hard. So for someone like me that already knows all the choices, or at least for the, the hardest person, difficulty, yeah. It would still uh -huh. be. I, I wouldn't be able to manipulate things to go the way I want to. I put it at that. I mean, there's plenty. Yeah, like the first I said, game I know of. There's plenty choice. of games, so we, like we can do different things for each one. 